Hi, and thank you for joining me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flojo, on another PowerFX video. Today, we're looking at the trim function and what it actually does. But trim is a special function, especially when you're working with text. Now, why is this? Well, it allows you to take spaces and remove them from either end. But not only that, it also allows you to take spaces that have been placed additionally in the middle of text. Now, sounds complicated, right? But it's not, it's really easy. Let's take a look at this example. I've got trim with a capital T and I've opened the parentheses and then I've got my quotation marks and then I've got some text. Now, I'm hard coding this because I'm writing the text straight into the trim function. But if you're bringing in some text, some strings from a dataverse, then what's going to happen is you're just going to pass it in and it's going to handle it the same way. But for this example, I'm going to be writing it. Now, what I've written here is I've got my quotation marker space, then I've got flow, then I've got multiple spaces, then I've got Joe, and then I've got another space. Now, what actually happens then is Trim's going to take away the front space, take away the last space, and then it's going to take away all of the spaces except one between this, so I'll end up with flow space Joe. And it actually removes all of the additional spaces so that if you're wanting to clean up your data, you can easily do this with the trim function. So let's take a look at this in work then. What I've got here is I've got several examples. Now the first one is the first example I've got written here. So let's take a look at what we get back. So if I do this, I've put trim with a capital T and then I've got all of the spaces, etc. And you can see here, I've now not got the space in front of the F. I've not got a space after the J and I've only got one space between Flo and Joe. Whereas I have so many spaces here, but it's removed them all and it's cleaned up the text that I've got just to leave me with Flo space Joe. But what we can also do then is if we've got, um, if we've got say um, space Flo space Joe and then a space after that, it won't remove that one space there. It knows that one space between two words is what your your desired effect is, and it will uh, leave that one space, but it will remove the start and it will remove the finish. And as you can see here, we've got uh, flow space Joe again. Now, this also works if you've just say got one space at the beginning and you're trying to just remove all of the spaces at the beginning for whatever reason, um, let's say your data's come from Excel and you've got a space at the beginning of all of your com columns and then you're trying to remove that so all of the text is in the correct format. Um, you can use trim and pass that in and what it's going to do is it's going to remove that one space but it's going to leave any correct spaces between words in there. Now there is another function that will just focus on the start and the end um, spaces. So if you've got multiple spaces between words that you want to keep, you're going to want to look at that other function. Now I've got to, I'm going to have a video coming out on that um, and that's going to be like trim ends. So it's only going to focus on the start and the end. Uh, but just check out that video if you're looking to keep multiple spaces um, because this function will remove any additional spaces in between words. But that is how easy it is to remove spaces from either end and between words in a text format with the trim function on PowerFX.